I'm going to ask all the class leaders to come to the altar. And as the class leaders are coming, I just want to acknowledge, come on class leaders, I just want to acknowledge the presence of Mother Matthew. Amen. She was here last week. And that was the last Sunday was the first Sunday she was here after her surgery. Amen. And I did not see her last week because among all our crowd, but I see her today. Amen. I was looking for her today. So um, I just want to thank all the members. So God bless you, man, for your here. These are the class leaders of Pine Lane Zone Church. So, so hold, hold still for a minute. Say cheese. <laughs> Amen. Okay, Dr. Turner. These are the people that are first responders, meaning that if there's something that's going in, on in your life, um, it could be a joy, it could be a sorrow, you know, it could be a graduation, a marriage, it could be a funeral. If something's going on in your life, these are the first responders. In our system, we call them class leaders. And the class leaders, in turn, we call the pastor. This helps so that nobody will be overburdened in the life of the church. The system was started a long time ago with Moses and his father in law, Jericho, had given them that piece of advice. And it helped most. And through that piece of advice, it's still helping us through the day. Other churches have the same system. They call it cell groups or class groups or whatever they call it, but it's still class leader system. So I just thank God for these class leaders who make my little life, who keeps my burden life, so that I can continue to stay in prayer and continue to serve you. Because without them, it would be a tremendous strain on me. Because whenever you need something, you will always call them. And they always keep me informed and well in touch. And I appreciate them for that. I didn't say it enough. But I appreciate them for that. We have some very good classes. They have very good classes. You know, they're always here uplifting the life of the ministry here. Because these class leaders know they serve a great church. And they got great people in their classes. Amen. And I don't want to keep saying that because Conti is a great church. And if anybody say Conti had a great church, I call him a liar and the truth man. Period. Amen. But Conti is a great church and we have great blessings that serve great people in this church. And I just thank God for them and I just want to pray with them at this portion of our service. So, blessings, God, grab it. Grab it. Get on your knees. If you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it if you can't. Please. Yeah, I ain't trying to touch somebody by your dog any way you can. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for these class leaders, for their eyes, for the arms, for the feet of this ministry. For the first responders of this ministry that deal with problems and situations among the members here at Conti. We thank you for them and for all the work that they're doing. Their work isn't always put in lights, Lord, or glorified or magnified before men. But they're doing their work, and you see what they're doing, God. And when you see what they're doing, Father, their work and their labor is not in vain. So, Lord, first of all, we encourage these class leaders to let them know that whatever labor they're doing, Lord, is not in vain, but it's for the glory and honor of your most heavenly name, so that you can keep the people of Christ moving and motivated in your work. We thank you for the leadership of this group, Lord, for Sister Franklin and Johnson, Father, who keeps this group motivated and going, Father, through even through her own personal struggles, Lord. She makes sure that the church needs are constantly taken care of, Lord, through the class leaders. So we thank you for her. We thank you for the followership of this group, Lord, that follows their leader faithfully, Lord, in whatever endeavors that she has, Lord, to uplift the life of our church at Conti. Because we serve a great church with great people in it, Lord. We thank you for these class leaders that are just propelling your greatness and letting you use them in their ministry, Father. It's wherever they go. So, Lord, as they continue this office and this 
service in the life of the church. We just pray that they would have the faith, that they would have the wisdom, that they would have the strength to just continue on in where you have called them and placed them on their classes. So, Lord, we just lift them up to you, Father, and just give you honor and praise for them, Lord, and for their willingness to serve in the name of our Lord. So, Father, as we close this prayer, we just say thank you for these class leaders of Conti and Zion Church, for their gifts, for their talents, and for their ministry to the life of this local congregation. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let the church say, Amen.